Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. We are going to be continuing uh, with our Terraform module set up for Azure Diagnostic Settings. Um, but this time, if you recall from last episode, I created that module, but I did it in a local, uh, lo locally within that repository. This episode, I'm going to create a new Git repository that I can use as a centralized location for all my Terraform modules um, so that I can share them across projects. Um, but I want this to be a private repository, so I have to do some things in Azure Dev DevOps to set it up so that my build pipelines can pull uh, this repo uh, during the build process. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I've already set up, and uh, let's look at it right now. I've already set up a uh, the Git repository for my Terraform modules, um, and I have one module in here called Rando. Uh, it's just a placeholder. We'll we'll add the good stuff soon enough. Um, it generates a random string, which I'm a huge as you know from watching this channel. I'm a huge fan of the random provider, and uh, it just outputs the result of that random string. Um, as an output variable called rando. So that's pretty much it. You can't get any simpler than that. It's in, it's all in memory. There is no dependencies. It's just a nice little placeholder for us to verify that our module library is working. So now what I need to do is I'm going to go create a reference to this in one of my projects. So I'm going to pull open. So here's my VS code. I, I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to close that down here. Uh, so let's go to my infra project for DevOps here. I'm just going to declare a module reference. So we'll call this module rando. We're going to set the source equal to something. Now, um, you'll notice that when we looked at the, the rando modules uh, source, you didn't see any input variables. I didn't have a variables.tf file, which is by convention where I store all my input variables. Um, and so the, you, you are correct in assuming there are no input variables. So I, the, I don't have anything to put inside this module block except the source of the module. Now, the source of the, source of the module is going to be a little bit different. Um, instead of, you know, using a relative path or things like that, like we, like we did previously, I'm, I'm actually going to use uh, a git ssh colon slash slash reference. And then I'm going to use git at ssh.dev.azure.com. It's going to be v3 endpoint. And then um, all this stuff is going to be the same for you. Okay. Um, this After this slash here, this is where it's going to be different. So whatever your Azure DevOps organization is, in my case, it's Tinderholt. And then whatever your project is within that organization, in this case, it's infrastructure. And then whatever repository within that project you store your Terraform modules. In this case, it's just called Terraform modules. Um, now, if you if you are going to create a repo for every module, best of luck with that. <laughs> but most sane human beings create one repo where they have a whole bunch of modules. Um, and if you recall, a Terraform module is really just a folder. So. In this repository, we create a bunch of folders and we organize them in folders and subfolders, you know, to kind of group things together. And we can sub create whatever folder hierarchy we want. Um, but when we reference the module, we have to tell it what the path is to the folder that contains the module. Um, now, in this case, I only have one module in my module library repo um, and it's called rando and it's in it's a root folder. Um, but this, this path will get more complex, um, over time. I, I, I promise you. So to access my rando folder, I just need, this is one little catch, right? Um, you need to add two, two slashes here. Um, and this is going to delineate what the URL is to Azure DevOps, which is, which is all right here. And then what is the actual path within the repo? Um, which is just going to be rando in this case. So there we go. So I have this uh, this module reference. I, I think I'm good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ch check out a new branch. 
uh, rando module. Ooh, rando module two. And first commit. Okay. So now let's go. Let's go ahead and run this pipeline. We've set this pipeline up before in our previous, I think, our previous episode. So this pipeline is already set up. It's a dev environment for our DevOps infrastructure, um, which is a little baby environment right now. There's not a whole lot going on there. I think it's just a key vault. Um, but we'll eventually expand this repository and in the infrastructure it maintains. But anyways, I'm just going to test this um, environment by using the source code from my feature branch on my dev environment. Um, and this is a handy technique, you know, when you're when you're working with man managing existing environments and long lived environments using Terraform, you you can test your deployments in non prod environments by selecting the feature branch and then deploying from there. Um, but of course, you need to make sure that that's an environment that you're okay to do that in. Uh, you don't just do that willy nilly. Um, so here, I'm just going to run a plan. I'm going to see what happens. So it looks like our, our plan finished. Let's go look at that. And we got this error. It says failed to download module. Womp womp. That's no good. Um, is the URL right? ssh.dev.azure.com v3 tinder hold infrastructure. So I don't think it's a typo. Um, it just literally cannot download the module. Now, the, the reason uh, is this is a private repository. And when a build agent um, is running a pipeline, it, it only has access to the Git repo that you've configured that pipeline to, to pull. Um, if you want to go and access other repositories out in Azure DevOps, you're going to have to, that are private, you're going to have to make sure that you configure some authentication. There's a couple of different ways you can do that. One is with a PAT token. Um, one is with um, an SSH key. Um, and what I'm going to show you today is using the SSH key. So for starters, we need an SSH key. So what I'm going to do is um, rather than like, I could do this from the command line, right? Um, I could do SSH key gen, you know, and all that stuff. Okay. Um, but I already have an SSH key. I, I don't want to go, you know, adding junk files in my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how you could do this using Terraform. Uh, this is the Azure Terraformer channel. So we do a lot of things using Terraform. Why not, right? So um, again, we're going to use the TLS provider. So I'm just going to declare a resource called TLS private key. And we'll call this the Azure DevOps pipelines key. And the algorithm is what? RSA. And then what? The RSA bits is going to be what? 2048. Does that, so does that sound good? I, I guess so. Let, let's, let's roll with that. Um, now what I want to do is I want to output so that I can have, I need the contents of, of this private, this, the private and the public key handy so I can go configure Azure DevOps with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use another um, provider called local, local file. Well, it's the local provider. Local file is a resource within that provider. And I'm going to create a public key. And the content is going to be my TLS private key, Azure DevOps pipelines. And it's going to be the public key open SSH. Okay. And then I'm going to give it a file name. Oh, not file permission. A file name, not a file name. And it's going to be, we're going to add path.module and then we're going to go whack and we're just going to say terraform id rsa okay and it's going to be what dot pub yeah okay so that's that's the public key now i'm going to do the same thing but instead of the public key i'm going to output the private key private key open ssh and we're going to drop the pub 
and that's that's what it's going to be it we got to re rename the object reference and there you go and so now i'm going to do a terraform init on this folder it's pulling the tls and the local providers okay and i'm just going to run terraform apply and it i trust you know it's going to do what i want it to do so now i have this private key and then I have the public key. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to set up this public key first. Uh, so I'm going to go out to Azure DevOps. Now I access this by using my SSH public keys. Okay. I'm going to create a new key. I'm going to call this Azure DevOps pipelines. And we're just going to paste the public key contents in there, right? You'll know that you have what's right if it starts with SSH-RSA and then a bunch of gobbledygook. You know, that's, that's, that's what it's supposed to look like. And you've probably done this before. I mean, in order to get, you know, use Git and access your repos, like, you know, this is the thing. Now, I would recommend, um, you know, probably setting this up with an underprivileged user, like maybe a read-only user, um, because... Once you've linked this SSH key to your account, um, it has your your permission. So whatever roles you have, and there are there are ways that somebody could go grab this file, you know, if they were really really intense, it would require them to you know basically check in pipelines and have pipelines that were approved to access the secret file, uh, which we're going to set up right now. But you know, it's uh, generally. Uh, make it an underprivileged user. It's a good idea. So anyways, um, now what we're going to do is uh, we need to create a secret file. So I got to go to pipelines and I got to go to my secret files and no peeking, no peeking. Um, oh, actually, May the 4th is long past, right? So you guys have saw, seen that episode. If you haven't seen the May the 4th episode, go check it out. That is the Google Cloud um, credential file. Yeah. Um, that, uh, that, that we downloaded from the Google cloud portal, um, so that we could do multi multi-targeted multi-cloud builds. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, so we're going to go upload this file and gosh, where is it? It's in lab. Yeah. Labs. And it's right here. And this is the private key. Okay. And it's in a file called terraform-id underscore RSA. Great. So now I have the public key set up, uh, you know, to, auth auth to be recognized um, with Azure DevOps. I have the private key set up um, and accessible in the secret files. Now this pipeline that I ran that failed, so we're going to look at that this thing that failed, I need to update this pipeline so that it can now have the benefit of the, using this SSH key. So I need to go to my other codes, code repository for infra DevOps. I need to go to the pipeline in there and I'm going to modify this pipeline to have an additional step. So right before I do Terraform validate, I'm going to add a new step and it's going to be called task. And it's called install SSH key at zero. And I guess, you know, this is, you know, one of those uh, tasks that doesn't have to get updated very much because it doesn't change very often. Um, because uh, there's only one version, zero. And so now I, I, there's two parameters I need to set uh, before I get to that. I'm going to set the known hosts entry. And then I'm going to set the SSH key secret, I'm sorry, secure file. And that's just going to be the Terraform ID underscore RSA, which is the name of the secure file that we've got out there anyway. Now the known hosts entry is going to be ssh.dev.azure.com. And that is the, the URL like that, that the SSH key is set up for. So there, there's a, there's a keychain that, that this secure file, you know, needs to link to. Um, and so there we go. So I've updated my pipeline. Uh, let me, let me check what branch I, oh yeah, I do. Am I in this branch? I must be in this branch already. So 
Oh yeah, because we added that mod the module reference. So okay, update pipeline. And let's push that update. And then let's go try and rerun this build. So I'm gonna go back to my pipeline, I'm gonna rerun from my feature branch, which has the module reference, which has the pipeline update, and we're gonna see what happens. Now, the first thing that happens is um, this pipeline is now trying to access a secure file through that task, and it doesn't have access to it. So we need to go grant that permission. Um, and so we're gonna permit this pipeline to now access this task, um, access that uh, this secure file. And there you go, we have corrected that problem. And so now we are downloading that module. We are, you can even see that it's, it's accessing some of those resources there. And it sees that we need to generate a random string. And that, that is the random string from our module, from our module called rando. Of resor uh, the resource type is random string and the object reference is rando. A whole lot of rando going on. Um, and so there you go. Like this, this now works. Um, if, we, if we approve the apply step, um, you know, we're going to review and approve. Probably shouldn't do this until I submit the PR, right? But I mean, it's dev, right? So it, who cares? Um, and it's just me. So, <laughs> so now uh, we're going to run this pipeline here. And because this pipeline has been approved to use that um, secure file, we're able to run it again, I think. Oh, oh, touche. Um, I forgot to, so the apply runs in a different job. So I forgot, I need to install this SSH key in the other, well, a different stage and a different job, right? So I need to actually install this SSH key over here. Um, I mean, um, hmm. let's, let's just do it right there. Okay. Make sure these line up, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so after we download the pipeline artifact, we install the SSH key and we go do our thing. Now here it, it may, I mean, this is technically the same pipeline. So add to apply. And let's, let's retry that. So we're gonna try it again. And there we go. So now that we have updated apply, uh, just like I thought, the, the secure file has been already been authorized to be used by this pipeline. Uh, therefore, like the pipeline was good to go as long as each stage, um, you know, runs that step to pull that key. And so you can see we, we added that one resource, um, which is our rando. So there you go. It's that easy to start using private repositories with your Terraform modules in Azure DevOps. Just remember, you need an SSH key, you need a repo, you need to install the SSH key in your pipelines um, so that your build agents won't fail. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, you should be good to go. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please smash that like button if you haven't subscribed to my ch channel, please do. And when you do, ring that bell so you know when my next video drops. Until next time, this is the Azure Terraformer signing off.